Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Shalia, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys tips and tricks on how I pass the ATITs without taking any prerequisites. Now, for those of you who don't know, the TEAS exam is a test that is administered by many different nursing schools for them to assess your strengths and your weaknesses and to determine if you would be the perfect fit for their nursing school. Now, the T's is split into four different sections. The first one being reading, the second one being math, then it moves on to science, and then the last one being English language usage. Now for the reading section, I use multiple different resources. The main one being the ATIT Secrets book by Mometrics, and that's this book right here. I purchased this from Barnes and Nobles for, I wanna say $44, and I just wanna say that this book was definitely worth the money because for the reading section, it breaks down every single topic, topic sentence, main idea, anything that you can find on the T's for the reading section is in this book and it's very, very detailed. So what I did was I read over the reading section twice, made sure that I understood what it was telling me to do and then I took notes on the reading section by itself. So I purchased this binder from Dollar General and I um, took notes on the reading section. How to find the topic sentence, how to find the main idea, how to find the summary, and so on and so forth. I also used another book. It was the ATITs, I think it's by Kaplan. And I actually purchased this one from the library, but I did see this one in Barnes & Noble when I went to pick up the other one. And that book, I actually did not do any of the practice problems out that book. Instead, I just simply read over the um, the reading part and then I took notes on it as well in the same binder. And then I completed the practice problems for the reading online. They actually give you a code that you're able to put and online and then it'll give you access to way more practice problems than it will give you in the actual book. I preferred their online practice problems because I did not like the way the actual book was set up as far as their problems. I felt as though it was very weird and it was really hard for me to focus with that particular book. Now the next thing that I used for reading wasn't actually a ATIT's book, but um, instead it was this big SAT prep book. And this book only was helpful because I was able to increase my reading speed with this. So I'm a very slow reader. So I knew that I wouldn't be able to read the whole passage on the exam and then answer the question. So instead I need to increase my speed so that I can get a little faster. And I only had a month to study so even that wasn't enough to increase my speed. So what I did was I read the question first and then I went back to the passages and answered the questions. There's actually a professor on YouTube, her name is Carolyn McAllister who teaches you methods on how to find the main idea, the topic sentence, and so on and so forth without reading the passage. She explains to you that you will not have enough time and she simply shows you methods on how you can find these things in a timely manner. And she is right, you will not have time to read those passages two and three times and then try and answer each question because you only have a minute and maybe like 15 to 30 seconds for each question for the reading section. So you do want to make sure that you are answering those questions quickly as possible. You want to eliminate what you can and then you want to select your answer and you want to move on. 
And when you move on after you select the answer, do not go back and start changing your answers. Because 9 times out of 10, if you chose the answer that you did, your brain some way, somehow knows that something in the answer that you chose is correct. So if you start changing your answer, you can actually end up choosing the wrong answer. So I do not recommend you doing that. Now for the math section, I did not use too many materials. I only used one YouTube channel and a book, but the YouTube channel that I used corresponds with the book that I purchased. And that book is The ATIT's Math by Jakara Lewis. Now, if you guys are interested in this book, she does have a website. I will link it in the description box below. But I paid $40 for this book and it comes with over 1,400 practice questions. And I really enjoyed this book because I hated math. I did not like it. I thought it was too difficult to understand. But she breaks all the topics down in a way so that it's easy for you to understand. And she has you master these topics within one to three steps. And that's very, very, very helpful for the T's because you do not have much time to try and solve these problems and then try and go back and plug the answers in three, four, and five, and six times. You just don't have enough time for all that. So you need to be able to look at a problem and know, okay, this is going to be a proportion. Or if you have something that's in percent, you need to know like, okay, I need to convert this percent into a decimal because I can't do anything with the number that's in percent form. So th these are all sub skills that she teaches you. So I really, really recommend you get in this book. And even if you don't understand um, the way she breaks it down, she's also very, very helpful. And she responds to you. If you send her a Facebook message, she'll respond to you or you comment on her channel. She'll definitely get back to you and um, go a little further in explaining on how to answer that particular problem now since i was so bad in math i had to study this book for about two weeks i made sure i did all 1400 or however many practice problems were in this book i completed every practice problem and then i completed both post tests that she had in the book and once i started scoring like 80s and 90s on her post test then i decided it was time for me to move on and go to the next subject which is science now for science since i told you i had never took any prerequisites i had to spend a little over a month on that subject alone because i had to teach myself everything so the first book that i used for the science was the one that i showed you guys it's the atit secrets book that's the black and yellow one and that book is good because it hit every topic that you could see on the T's exam, but it doesn't go in depth. So I would not recommend just using that book alone for the science because you will not pass with just that one book. Like for example, I'm gonna show you um I'm gonna show you guys the endocrine system out this book. It just isn't enough so you need to know all the hormones you need to know their functions and this book is only a page and a half for the endocrine system there's no way that it's giving you all the information so i just want to let you guys know when you are studying for science you want to make sure that you are looking into just more than one resource so if that's the only book that you're able to afford, I definitely recommend um, searching up some YouTube videos or using some free apps. I know Quizlet is good. I'm sorry, guys. My son is playing. But um, I know Quizlet is good. Um, what else? I can't remember all the apps that I used. I used a ton of them, but I'll link those down in the description below as well. But the main YouTube channel that I used for science was called New Anatomy and Physiology. And the guy's videos are very long, but he goes in depth. Like, he breaks it down 
for a beginner or not even just a beginner, just someone who needs to expand their knowledge on anatomy and physiology anyways. So I definitely recommend using those um, videos. And then I also use Science with Susanna. I think I only watched like two or three of her videos, so I'm not going to go too in depth, you know, as to her channel and what it's all about. But um, her channel was good. It did help me out with a few systems that I just needed to do a little bit more research on. I also use Pocket Prep for Science. Pocket Prep was very, very, very helpful. I purchased the $25 version. I think that's the um, top knot version. And I purchased that one because if you guys fail your exam but you have that version, they'll give you your money back as long as you show like proof that you failed and that you completed all 1,400 practice problems. But um, I didn't have to worry about that because I passed. I ended up scoring a 74% overall, so I was very happy with that. And um, I also used the ATIT's Kaplan book for science as well, but I found that their science practice problems were very, very hard, and I didn't even need to know all of that stuff for the T's exam. So I don't recommend... Um, going to in depth for the science section for that but i will say if you're able to pass the science problems with that particular book then you should be golden for the um practice problems for the problems on a real exam the last section was english i did not use a book for english i only used pocket prep and then i made um flash cards for prefixes and suffixes and i also in the in this book right here they give you a list of commonly misspelled words i made sure i wrote all those words down on index cards and then i just practiced them constantly to make sure i knew how to spell those words and then i also use carolyn McAllister for english because she teaches you subject verb agreement and pretty much everything that you need to know for the English section so for English if you have a singular subject your verb is going to end with an s so if you can remember singular equals s then that should get you through most of the subject verb agreement so that's what I used for that and I'm just gonna show you guys my index cards really quick for the um like these are the prefixes and then I also have some suffixes somewhere in there and um speaking of flashcards I also made flashcards for science as well for all the hormones and um all the different organ systems and their functions and I would study these when I was at work or just whenever I had time but my main go-to was YouTube because I was in the car a lot and I was able to listen to the videos and still learn while I was on the go. So those are the materials that I used for um, the ATITs. If you guys have any questions, please comment, please post them in the comments down below and I will try to get to all of them and answer any questions that you may have i ask that you guys please like comment and subscribe my video that way i'll know if you guys were interested in what other videos you guys would like to see if you guys are interested in seeing a video on how to ace your nursing um interview then please let me guys know and i will get that up for you guys um with that being said, I do want to thank you guys for watching my video, and I hope these tips and tricks help you pass your T's exam.